The James Webb Space Telescope has once again outdone itself with a groundbreaking discovery EZ-14, the oldest galaxy ever detected. While this ancient star cluster offers astronomers an extraordinary glimpse into the early universe, it also poses serious questions. With its incredible mass and luminosity, Z14 defies our current understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. Once more, a discovery by Webb is challenging the foundations of modern cosmology, forcing us to ask whether the standard model still holds up. But what exactly about Z14 intensifies this growing astronomical dilemma? And how might this reshape future research? Stick with us to the end as we explore these pressing questions. Astronomers are fully aware of the puzzle that the James Webb Telescope has presented. Webb has already revealed several cosmic structures that, according to existing theories, shouldn't exist. In response, researchers have now launched a focused observation campaign to hunt down and study galaxies that are both extremely distant and unimaginably ancient. This initiative, fittingly titled Mirage or Miracle, or simply MOM, seeks to answer a fundamental question, are the distant light sources we observe genuine ancient galaxies, or are they optical illusions, mirages shaped by cosmic phenomena like gravitational lensing? The MOM campaign focuses on determining whether these high redshift observations reflect real, early universe galaxies or if we're being misled by misinterpretations of cosmic signals. This inquiry gained momentum following a groundbreaking discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope, which identified six early galaxies, dubbed Universe Breakers, that existed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Strikingly, these galaxies appear nearly as massive as the Milky Way today. Such findings have thrown astronomy into a period of deep uncertainty. According to our current models, the universe simply didn't contain enough ordinary matter at that time to form such large, star-rich galaxies. But since the cosmos seems to defy our expectations, we're now forced to confront a troubling possibility, could there be a fundamental flaw in our standard model of the universe? And have we perhaps overlooked a key element in the story of cosmic evolution? The mystery deepened further with the discovery of Jade's GSZ-14-0. Confirmed in mid-2024, this galaxy formed just 290 million years after the universe began, making it the earliest known galaxy ever observed. Yet even this breakthrough came with surprising complications. Analysis revealed that this galactic infant already contained several hundred million solar masses in stars, an unexpectedly massive amount for such an early time. But that wasn't the only surprise. The galaxy's spectrum also showed the presence of oxygen emission lines, suggesting that multiple generations of massive stars had already lived and died by the time of observation. In other words, the galaxy must have evolved rapidly, growing to its observed size in just about 100 million years. This finding challenged the long-standing idea that the early universe was filled only with small, dim galaxies. That theory was now officially outdated. But the James Webb Space Telescope didn't stop there, it has now surpassed its own record. Astronomers have identified an even older galaxy, MCE-14. This galaxy emerged just 280 million years after the Big Bang, meaning the light it emitted has traveled an astonishing 13.5 billion years to reach us here on Earth. As previously noted, the scientists behind the MOM campaign are committed to challenging the universe's brightest phenomena on a galactic scale. Leading the charge was Rohan Naidu from MIT, who, along with his team, began analyzing existing James Webb Telescope images in search of potential early galaxies. Their efforts led to the discovery of a promising candidate, labeled C-114, which prompted them to focus Webb's powerful infrared instruments on the intriguing object back in April. A key concept in determining the age of such galaxies is redshift. But what exactly is redshift? Simply put, because the universe has been expanding since the dawn of time, light from distant celestial bodies stretches into longer, meaning redder, wavelengths as it travels through space. The rule is straightforward, the farther the light travels, the greater its redshift. In this case, while the well-known Jade's galaxy had a redshift of 14.32, the newly observed galaxy reached an even higher value of 14.44. That means Galaxy Z14 existed when the universe was just 2% of its current age. 
We are witnessing one of the earliest known records of cosmic history, MOMZ-14, a galaxy that emerged shortly after the so-called Dark Era, when the universe was just beginning to glow with the light of the first stars. Despite its incredible brightness, MOMZ-14 is surprisingly compact, spanning only about 240 light-years in diameter, roughly 400 times smaller than our Milky Way. Its mass is comparable to that of the small Magellanic Cloud, one of our satellite galaxies. What's truly remarkable is that MOMZ-14's luminosity surpasses many existing theoretical models. Yet, this very brightness allows scientists to study the galaxy in unprecedented detail, even identifying individual elements within it. Notably, researchers have detected an unexpectedly high amount of nitrogen, an observation that challenges previous predictions. This nitrogen-to-carbon ratio is typically found in globular clusters, ancient, densely packed star groups that formed within the first few billion years of the universe. These clusters are thought to contain the oldest stars known, and the similarities between them and MOMZ-14 suggest that star formation processes in the early universe may have followed a common pattern. The discovery of Z-14 is not just a breakthrough, it's deepening the mystery and raising new questions about the earliest stages of cosmic evolution. When we examine the characteristics of Z-14 more closely, it becomes clear that this isn't just one of the most important astronomical discoveries of recent times, it's also one of the most perplexing. The reason is simple, in many ways, Z-14 doesn't align with what we thought we knew about the early universe. As noted, MOMZ-14 formed roughly 280 million years after the Big Bang, during a period known as the Cosmic Dawn, the era when the universe's first stars and galaxies began to emerge. At that stage, these early galaxies were expected to be small, dim, and chemically undeveloped. But Z-14 defies those expectations. To begin with, it's far more massive and luminous than existing models predict for galaxies of that age. Estimates suggest MOMZ-14 contains around 100 million solar masses of stars, an astonishing amount for such a young galaxy. This raises a crucial question, how could so much matter gather so quickly, and how did so many stars form in such a short time? Current theories propose that massive galaxies grow slowly over billions of years through the merging of smaller structures. But Z14 seems to have bypassed that entire process of gradual growth. What's more puzzling is its chemical composition. Spectral data shows that Z14 already holds significant quantities of heavier elements like carbon and nitrogen, particularly, an unusually high nitrogen-to-carbon ratio. This chemical signature suggests multiple generations of stars must have already lived and died to enrich the galaxy to such an extent. But how could that be possible when the universe itself was only a few hundred million years old? Stars typically take hundreds of millions of years to evolve and end their lives in supernova explosions. Lastly, the structure of Z14 adds to the mystery. Though incredibly compact, spanning just about 240 light years, it shines in infrared wavelengths like a much larger galaxy. This suggests there is still much we don't understand about the formation and evolution of the earliest galaxies in the universe. Despite its relatively small size, this galaxy emits large amounts of ionizing radiation, an indication that it was undergoing intense star formation at the time it was observed. Yet, oddly enough, it contains very little interstellar dust. This is highly unusual. Typically, a high rate of star formation is accompanied by the production of substantial amounts of dust, generated by supernovae and powerful stellar winds. So why isn't that the case here? Could the dust have been expelled into space by strong galactic winds? Or did the extreme conditions simply prevent dust grains from forming at all? These puzzling features make Galaxy Z14 a significant challenge to our current cosmological models, and it's not alone. The James Webb Space Telescope is uncovering more and more of these surprisingly massive, mature, and complex galaxies from the early universe. Their existence clearly suggests that the young cosmos was far more dynamic, structured, and rich in massive galaxies than we had previously believed. 
This leads to some pressing questions for astronomers and physicists, is our understanding of galaxy evolution fundamentally flawed? Are there unknown processes at play? And could it be time to reconsider or even abandon the standard model of cosmology?